Hi everyone, Sticky Hand here, and today we are doing another player home review from a Creation Club uh, home, and it is Mirror Watch. Now, Mirror Watch is aimed to be a mage's player home, um, you know, more of the magical alchemy type deal. Now, when you start the game, um, you will kind of immediately have the quest line for Mirror Watch in your line, and it will say, I've heard stories of lost shipwrecks. Oh, wait a minute. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding, wrong one. I've heard rumors of a mysterious tower somewhere east of Morthal. If it's abandoned, I may be able to make use of it. Investigate Mirror Watch. So that's all your quest line tells you to do. And if you go to your map here, you can see it is just outside of Morthal. It is not a player home that you can fast travel to, so you will have to probably go to Morthal, or I actually just went to the Stone Hills Mine and walked from there. So um, you'll, you'll have to walk there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. I haven't come to this player home yet, so this is all kind of starting off for me. And we see that we have a uh, Chorus right here, so that's a nice little uh, surprise, I suppose. Um, not really, obviously. Being a little sarcastic there, but we won't say anything about that. So obviously you do have to fight that little feller right off the bat. We'll go ahead and take that because I'm a hoarder. And we see we're being directed to this fella here, Hans. Um, let's read the note. Deep in the swamps of Hjalmark, where the branches are gnarled and the mist is thick, lies a tower of unknown provenance. Few in the province dare speak the name Mirror Watch, and those that do couch their words with apprehension and fear. Yet the mystery of this tower only piques my interest further, and so I have made it my life's work to discover its secrets. What I can deduce of its past comes from its present. From the cut of the stone to the wards that surround it, every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to a pen and hand. The stone seal that guards the entrance is none other than the Eye of Magnus, a symbol born from the legacy of Shalador. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Mirror Watch, but outside the College of Winterhold. Could it be the mages here were cast out from the college and set out to carve their own path? This is but a theory, and yet one I feel has merit. Nevertheless, without access to the mind of its occupants, true insight will remain frustratingly out of grasp. Okay, so they give you a nice little kind of uh, back, you know, lash of what's going on there. Um, and he had a f spell tome. And uh, a little journal, which I have a feeling we're going to probably want to go ahead and look at. Um, first thing I'm noticing is obviously there is plenty of death bell around. Um, you also have some swamp fungal pods over there. So we've definitely got some alchemy units going on. Let's uh, walk up. Requires key. So we don't have the key. Let's go ahead and look at Han's journal real quick. Maybe that will tell us what we need to know. When the eye is doused in flames, the hair will light the way. I've heard that fools and Nar say it over and over, breath stinking of ale, as if it were a limerick. Alright, um, now I'm assuming, even though we are not going to read all of that, that we have to go ahead and hit the eye with flames, because that would be what it seems. So, let me go ahead and get our destruction spell all right okay we activated the seal oh there's the hair hello little hair where are you going to take us why this is all quite magical to uh to get into this player home i will say okay um and we heard the lock so i'm assuming that was the key so it is definitely based off the College of Winterhold, um, which is pretty cool and interesting. I do like that it has sort of a theme to it that this is a mage's, you know, uh, player home. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start our look-see around. Um, so first off, it looks pretty cool, you know? Uh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, disimpressed from our first entering of the, uh, of the home. 
So it looks like we have a bookcase here. We have active bookshelves. And let's go ahead and get into this main part. This looks like our main kind of living area. You have some cozy uh, hides on the floor, some chairs, nice little fireplace. We have a bookshelf, um, or I'm sorry, not a bookshelf, our table, uh, another journal. So that's kind of interesting. Um, bench. We have some shelves over here with some stuff already placed, gold, glass dagger, and some flawless sapphire and emeralds placed ring of illusion so you kind of already got some decent loot in here to be quite honest um so not a ton necessarily to do in this main living area um i kind of feel like you probably wouldn't actually come down here in regards to like playing um actually but uh you know sh shrine of stendar oh you have some stall frame that's interesting and a uh, map okay but it, it has nice appeal to it, a nice look, so I um, I definitely appreciate that. Now this is extremely interesting. Mirror Watch Gallery. Okay, we'll come back to that, um, but that's definitely very magical and cool. <laughs> so certainly appreciate that. Um, we have a lockbox that we can use, right? Yep, okay. Uh, cure Disease Potion. And it doesn't look like you can actually use that storage. This seems to be our player bed. So I don't know how much I love this, that you really don't have your own kind of separate closed off room, but I suppose that's the vibe they're going for with the tower. Um, you have some wardrobes over here and a knapsack. Okay, so not totally obsessed with storage but I suppose if this is I mean they probably still have storage elsewhere um, the desk is nice we have some cupboards a safe another cupboard and a chest so I mean that is pretty nice and then obviously we're entering our kitchen area a little kind of bar stool area an oven more of a great seating table and this sort of goes into our um, living area. I feel like that's a little bit of a snug squeeze with that fireplace there, but not too bad. Um, some more storage. Our cooking pot. And then it looks like we're entering the children's slash probably follower sleeping area. Um, they really got some space in between here. I think this is pretty cute for the kids though. Uh, to be honest, I like this for them quite a bit. It looks pretty cute and nice for that. And then, um, yeah, some more bookshelves. And it looks like we're back at the beginning here. So, honestly, it's pretty, it's pretty small in a way. It feels large when you walk in, but when you're just going through these corridors, it definitely feels a little more small. Um, let's definitely go check out this gallery, because right now it doesn't... I mean, surely they have to have some sort of alchemy lab and enchanting, so there has to be more. Um, but I, I would assume, I guess, they're keeping it separate. Ah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is really the nitty-gritty mage area. So that is pretty cool. Um, I mean, I'm not totally infatuated with it because it does kind of stink to have to go to a separate area, in my opinion. But I guess it makes it feel a little more special and neat. So you can't interact with those mushrooms. That's just, uh, pretty. <laughs> you can put Sarek's skull key there, and you have a strong box. And here's our enchanting table. I do feel like this enchanting table looks pretty, pretty neat. It looks a little special, so that's cool. Okay, so we have an urn we can use here for storage. And then we have, uh, cupboards down here. So that's nice. And a barrel right next by. So pretty good storage, all in all. Um... And a pretty cool table, so I can't complain about that. Looks like we have some shield racks here. And a display case. Mannequins. Oreo's bow, so that's a specific um, placement for that, obviously. And then our paragons. Initiates Ur and Oreo's shield. Okay, so that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. And we'll come over here. We have our alchemy. Can we... Okay, so we can harvest the junipers from that, so that's nice. We have another lockbox, 
they give you quite a few potions and ingredients nearby and then you have another usable cupboard, another barrel, an apothecary satchel, a sack, so plenty of storage here which is always a plus in my book. Okay, and these are more specific um, placements, so Harkon Sword, Dawn Guard Rune Axe, Dawn Guard Rune Hammer, so this is obviously our Dawn Guard um, area. Some more mannequins, some good empty cupboards, Shield of Year Grismore, Spellbreaker, Targe of the Blooded, and Ethereal Shield. So more focused racks, okay, usable dagger racks. What do we have over here? Is this anything? Okay, Keening, Maroon's Razor, Blade of Sacrifice, Nettle Bane, I'm not going to try and say that, and Blade of Woe. Oh, and these are all um, uh, staffs that are you know, specific staffs that we can place there. Let's see, these are just a generic weapon rack and a generic shield rack. Okay, all right, all of our dragon masks, some empty storage here. What do we got going on over here? Um, those are not usable, but you have your jar series and a weapon plaque. Another weapon plaque, yep, okay, and, well, weapon rack, and a shield, more mannequins. Oh, okay, so this is nice. These are just kind of generic weapon plaques, which honestly, I really appreciate, because sometimes, um, you know, it's just nice to be able to put what you want there, and it's not necessarily going to be one of the specific special, um, special uh, items that perhaps people look for. So, some more generic weapon plaques. Oh, okay, now this is definitely unique. Um, it's a staff enchanter. Now, I have never used these before, um, so this is pretty cool. You have some heart stones they provided you. You have a lockbox, a urn for storage, and you can use the cupboards down here, a knapsack. So, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely unique and definitely following the, uh, you know, mage uh, storyline for this player home, uh, for sure with that. Oh, and here we go. Champion's Cudgel, Blood Skull Blade, and then we have some more specific, uh, weapon racks. Okay. I don't believe we looked at these, so, but I'm assuming these are, yeah, these are going to be generic. All right. And let's take a look at the center down here. It looks like this is your work area. Um, so you have a little bit of a alchemy uh, garden going on here. You have some plants that are already planted for you that you can go ahead and take advantage of, which is really nice, but they also leave some open plots for you to plant in. Looks like you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten? Ten total uh, plots? So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely nice and it looks really good honestly so that's that's pretty cool um, and then you have your work area so tanning rack we have um, some barrels for storage knapsack over there but I would have to say that's kind of awkward knapsack storage like I don't know this seems a little weird to me hmm okay so the only thing I would probably say that I'm noticing right off the bat I don't see good storage for your workbench area, which is just a, I mean, if you've watched any of my player home reviews, um, I definitely appreciate good storage options, and it doesn't seem like there's a ton. Like, it would be nice if they had just placed a chest somewhere around here, um, which you really don't have. You have that awkwardly placed knapsack, I suppose, and some barrels and a sack, but that's not really something I think of to place you know, my leather or my iron ingots or anything like that in. Like, that feels a little a little awkward to me. Um, they certainly could have put some storage back here. But, you know, overall it's pretty, pretty neat. Um, use all forge and use a smelting pot. Yeah, so you do have smelting capabilities. Um, which is good. That's definitely good, obviously. So, yeah. Alright, well, I would have to say overall... Obviously, you will come to your own conclusions, um, but overall, this is obviously the main 
area you're going to be in this player home. Um, and it's pretty good. It seems pretty functional. Um, in a way, I don't know if I like the tower effect because you sort of have to run around, I guess, to see all of your, your s trophies and success and everything, which it is nicer to be able to just kind of glance in a square or rectangle room and see everything all proudly displayed. Um, but it's a cool effect and I do like it for, you know, it's obviously took major inspiration from the College of Winterhold, so I can appreciate that. Um, it does look pretty neat. Um, but yeah, uh, and I would say for the most part the storage is pretty effective, except for the workbench area. So if you're into, you know, making your own weapons or armor or anything along those lines, that might not be ideal. Um, but, I mean, you can make it work. It's not gonna, obviously, break you. Um, so yeah, I would say, though, that the living area I'm still not totally 100% in love with. It feels a little awkward. Uh, to an extent, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's still pretty cool. Um, but just maybe a little, uh, lacking, I suppose. But if you are into playing a mage character and you really want to get into, you know, what you are and kind of role playing to an extent, I'm sure this would definitely be a, a cool player home for you to, uh, to work in. Um, I definitely could see it working, um, just probably not something that's my specific taste, I would say. But obviously, you can come to your own conclusions. I do want to see, can you get hurt by this? No, you can't. So I guess if you do run into it, it doesn't uh, doesn't really matter because... Um, oh, gosh. Now we're stuck. Um, oh, no. <laughs> um, okay. Note to self. Don't run in the fire. Um, but anyways, so <laughs> you... Uh, You'll have to make that decision on your own, of course, but it, it's not a shabby place. It's pretty nice. It's good. It has good touches. Um, maybe just a little, little unique for me, uh, I would suppose. It doesn't quite have the flow I appreciate. But overall, a decent player home. Easy to get. Um, and obviously, this is a home that you can get pretty much right off the bat. All you have to do is get here and fight a chorus. And then it's yours. So you really can't go wrong with that if you want to, you know, get an easy home right off the bat. Okay, guys, well, we are going to end our review of Mirror Watch here. It is definitely uh, geared towards your mage player profile. So if that's what you're doing and that's what you're interested in, you know, check it out on Creation Club and maybe go ahead and add it to your collections of player homes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay in the loop on all of my future content. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope to catch you next time.